What's up, everybody? It's your boy Rogue here. So, um, I asked you guys on my community tab the other day. I want to do a tier list and give a meta game breakdown because this is always something I've been interested in that just never got around to it. So, as you guys see, meta game breakdown. So instead of doing a top ten best decks in the format, top ten best Rogue decks in the format, just do it all in one video. We got tier zero, tier one, one point five, tier two, and Gabbage. Gabbage is pretty much tier 2.5 and tier 3 decks, meaning decks that you might be able to cheese a win here and there. You might win a locals one time out of a million, but deck is trash. Tier 2 is pretty much decks that are good, but you really you need a really really good pilot to run the deck properly. Tier 1.5 is pretty much decks that are tier 2 that's almost tier 1. Like they're really good. You can get away with some misplays and still do good, but Ultimately, the tier one decks, mono e mono are just gonna beat them. Tier one, pretty much the best decks in the format. Tier zero is when the one deck like comes off tier limits, for example. So let's do certain to it, man. You guys already know common sense. Like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. First up, Sorso. So it's not Gabbage. Tier one point five, because it's not tier one. It's not the best deck in the format. It does top. It does have some regionals tops. I see a lot at locals. It's not tier zero, obviously. I think Soroso is tier one point five. It's not tier two because I think it wins enough to not be justified tier two. I've personally seen Soroso players misplay, come back and win, and that just makes it tier one point five. Like it's in that range where it's kind of like it's a good deck. It's not the best deck. It takes skill to play. But it's not so overpowered that it's just tier one. Tier one are decks that are borderline tier zero that's overpowered, but they're just in their own realms. Tier one point five, it can compete, just not that good. Next up, we have Adam Emancipator. I believe this is an Adam Emancipator monster. Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and pit this Adam Emancipator uh, monster at. I don't see it, so I'm gonna pit it at tier Gabbit only because like I'm pretty sure the deck's good. I just don't see the deck. Um, yeah, like. And if this is not an Adam Emancipator monster, let me know, guys. It looks like one. I kind of don't know the pictures off the top of my head, but Ad somebody asked me about Adam Emancipator. I think it's just not the, not the good of a deck right now. It's a tier 2.5. I'm pretty sure it's probably solid when it pops off, but I can't justify it. I never see it, and I rarely see it. It might top. Every time I do see a top of regionals is once every blue moon. So I'm leaving it in the garbage. You guys might disagree. Post your thoughts about that in the comments section down below. Black Wings, um, Tier 2, I'm really, really leaning towards Tier 2. 1.5, I think it's not good enough for 1.5. Like, people play it, it's a really aggressive deck. It wins, it tops the regionals. It's almost on the same level as Heroes. It's damn sure not Tier 1. No, Tier 2. I think Tier 2 is um, fair for Black Wings. Yeah, because, like, it, under a good pilot, it can win, but... Outside of that, nah. You gotta be a Black Wing expert. Chris the Beast, honestly, tier two. I think it's the same thing as Black Wings and Heroes, like these GX era, um, five D's era type of decks that are like character decks. They're good, especially Chris the Beast during Tiller Mess format. It was one of the better decks. It was definitely tier 1.5. It just right now in the metagame, I don't see Chris the Beast top at all. Um, you probably can do some shenanigans with Necro Valley versus Despios, but the metagame is so diverse on the higher end of the metagame, like tier one decks. Maybe like some Crystal Beast Pro. I do see it. I barely see it nowadays. I might want to add it to the garbage list though. Cause like I don't see it topping as much. I know Nashi, shout out to him. He does good with it, but like he's wanting it. No garbage. I'm sorry. <laughs> Outside of Nashi and the Crystal Beast crew, like I don't see it on my local scene. I don't see it topping. So I have love for the deck obviously and when Golden Rule comes out it might get bumped up to tier 2 status. I'm going to redo this video. If this video does well, I'll do another version of this next month. Yeah, we're going to leave it in the garbage pile right now, man. It's only because, like, man, I don't want to just add it to tier 2 status when I don't see it doing nothing like that. I've looked on Ready for Duel. I've looked on Car Carlancho Store. I'm not really seeing people play the deck that much anymore. It had its run last format when it was, like, tier 1.5, tier 2. Right now, it's garbage. Straight garbage. And obviously, I don't have garbage and it's like garbage. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> all right, Flunderies. Um, I do see this deck. Not as much as I used to. Um, 
I'm gonna say tier two. Like, I think you really need to be a good flu player to like really play the deck well. Like, I think honestly speaking, with barriers that you gone, it's not that good of a deck anymore. That was really its main win con. Like it still can win, it's just not as good as it used to be. So since it ain't that scary because of the barrier statues, unfair locks are gone. This deck bumped from a tier 1.5 to tier 2. Next up, I believe this is a gold pride card, if I'm not mistaken. I don't see this deck like that. I do see a top in here and there. Uh, gold pride. Gold pride, gold pride, gold pride. Good old Latin King deck, right? I'm going to say tier 2 because I do see it top in here and there. I've seen a few people at locals play it. People said it ain't that good, but I think it's one of those decks that, since it does top, you need a skillful player to pilot it. So, we're going to leave it at Tier 2 for now. Um, Yeah, I think that's a pretty safe bet. Synchrons. This deck just top 32 a Nationals, I believe. And my boy David plays this deck really well. It's gaining popularity, but it needs a good pilot, so therefore, I'm going to put it at Tier 2. It's... One of those really solidly good decks that just needs a good pilot. And you really have to master the combos because it's easy to mess up. Shifter craps on that deck, but then again, Shifter craps on everything, right? Cash Tiros. This is not hard at all. Tier 1. I kind of want to pick Tier 0, but honestly, it ain't running things like it used to. So, Tier 1 is perfectly fine. Um, You know, Cash Tiros is... It, it can still pump out a Rise Heart. It still can control the board with Unicorn. It has a lot of recursion plays. It just got bumped down from a Tier 0 deck with the zone locking abilities to a Tier 1 deck, which is whatever, right? Labyrinth. So, Labyrinth is going to go down to Tier 2. It's another deck that it does well. It's a trap-heavy deck, but it's not that great. It's like, if you open up the skill drain and all the combos, you're going to win. However, you really have to know this deck just to be out the opponents. A so, Tier 2, I think, is very fair. Madoche... I'm going to pick Gabbage. I know there was a guy that topped his Nationals with it recently. He's one out of a million. Like, this is a deck. You take a, you need a really skilled pilot with a specific strategy to play this list. And you usually do well because you caught people off guard going into an event. However, I'm making this list based off consistency. And no one's playing Madoche. Let me get some water real quick. No one's playing Madoche like that right now, right? I'm pretty sure there's some good Madoche players. Oh, screw you, man. The deck ain't garbage. But, like, just because I topped the Nationals one time, it just topped mainly because people weren't prepared for it. I don't mean the deck is bad. It's just based on the results I'm seeing right now from looking at all the events. It topped one event. It literally tops one event a year. There's always that one guy that comes in with his strategy. Usually it's the guy that opened up Shifter all day plus combo. So I'm going to put it in Gabbage right now. Until it starts topping more, I want to put it in Tier 2. Like, it honestly hover between t Gabbage and Tier 2. But since I don't have a Tier 2.5, it's Gabbage right now. It don't top enough. Next up, this is a net called Minimum. I forgot the name of it, per se. It got some regional top 8s under its belt. Um, it's a brand new deck. I'm putting it at Tier 2 right now. I don't see it on my local scene at all. Maybe you guys see it. Um, I've seen it at Top 8 a couple of regionals just online. And the deck apparently is really good. So. So I don't really see it that much, but I am seeing some tops with it. It's probably tier 2.5. I don't know. So we're going to leave it in tier 2 right now because I do see more consistent tops over a deck like Madoche, which is like in a different country for one, which no hate against different countries, but it's in a different country. And on top of that, it's just one of them things where it's kind of like you really don't see it that much outside of that one country. So, yeah. Math Mix. This deck is definitely tier 1.5. Um... Played against yesterday for the first time. My boy JoJo used it. It can set up a, a castle, which is really powerful. It can OTK. It has a lot of good plays. It can compete with the metagame. I'm seeing it top a lot. So, therefore, Tier 1.5 is a really good deck. Um, You need to be a skillful player to play it. It's just not in that Tier 1 status like that. It might be a Tier 2, but based on results, we're going to say Tier 1 right now. This one is purely... So, purely... I don't know where to fit this deck at, honestly. Like, I don't see it locally. It was topping a lot last format. It was definitely tier one. I'm not seeing any deck list recently that's doing well. Maybe I overlooked the um, pages I did my research on, which, like I said, once again, Ready for Duel and Carlancho Store, plus YouTube deck profiles. I'm not going to read fine. There's profiles, but I'm not going to watch every profile and listen to people's strategies on it for a video, right? That's too long. Um, I'm going to leave it in tier 1.5 right now. I think it's really good. It's just that... I know when the, the spell card got hit, people say the deck kind of died out. 
But I'm going to put it tier 2 right now, honestly. Only because I don't know where it's at. I, I rarely see people play it at my local, so I'm assuming it wasn't that good to begin with. And it's probably expensive. However, you probably need a good pot to play it right now. But I could be wrong, so I will admit that. I could be wrong on that one. Sky Striker. Um, I'm going to pay 1.5. Having double engage, bro. And Motorola at 3. The deck's really good. I can honestly say... Anytime this deck gets engaged back, it goes up a tier. Only because it's just consistent and it's shown throughout history how good it is. So it's not tier one. It's not tier two, which last format I'll argue tier two. Right now it's in that sweet spot where it's almost tier one again, just not there yet. Sprite, this also goes for Sprite Live Twin Variants. Um It's getting no, I'm gonna pick tier one, honestly. Sprite's being it's live twin, Sprite, Sprite, live twin. I'm seeing a lot of tops with it. I'm seeing it on my local scene. It's one of the best decks of the format, hands down. So, therefore, I got to just gotta respect the deck. Um, Spirals. Somebody built it and dig recently with it. I think it got bumped up from Gabbage. I would have put it at Gabbage at first, but we're going to leave it at Tier 2 for now. Really solid deck. It's just not that good to be Tier 1. All right, so this deck right here, I think, remember, was this the gold pride one? I literally forgot. I'm not even going to lie, y'all. Give me one second. Hold on. I'm going to pause this real quick. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to, I had to remember what this car was. So this is a super heavy yeah, super heavy samurai monster. Um, I'm not seeing this deck at all, honestly. I'm going to say it's tier two. Got bumped down to tier two. Losing this link monster hurt the deck a lot. People say it's still good, but it might be garbage. I don't know, man. How do y'all feel? You know I'm gonna pick garbage right now. I don't see I don't see it. Like I think the leak monster leaving really destroyed that deck. Tier limits. People have been topping with it here and there. I have been seeing this deck top here and there. It just catches people off guard. I think it's tier two. I think you just need to be a really good tier player to, to play the deck, honestly speaking. Uh, I wouldn't say it's garbage still yet, because I played against it recently and it got some plays, but it's like it's like eh. I, mean, I just think, I don't know, man, like, I don't want to say it's garbage. I don't think it's garbage. Like, I think Super Heavy Samurai is garbage because I barely saw it to begin with, and I already put it down here, but, yeah. But moving on, but Tri Tricks, tier 1.5. It's a good deck. Um, I see it a lot locally. It's a cheap deck. I mean, get caught with your pants down, man. You're going to lose against Tri Tricks, I'm telling you. Open the Conductor Tyranno, Dinosaur Die deck. Definitely tier 2. Like, it's good, but it ain't that good. It's just... It's like heroes, like you just gotta be a skilled player, open up the good combos, and you win. Vanquish Soul, let's see. Haven't played against this yet. I know it tops a lot. Um, some people are saying it's good, some people are saying it ain't. I don't wanna say it's in the same level of these decks because it does have more results. I think it's gonna be up here in this sweet spot of tier 1.5. Almost tier one, it's just not there yet. My favorite deck, Heroes. Now, you guys already know I wanna put it up here. Last format, I definitely would have put it up here. But I have to be real with you guys, man. Heroes is a tier 2 deck at best right now. Maybe when the Flame Wingman support come out, it might get bumped to tier 1. However, right now, it's a tier 2 deck. Like, you just need to be a really good hero player to play the deck, right? There's a lot of bad hero players. And, yeah, it, it sucks. But it is what it is, man. Um, That's just how it be. Hold on, y'all, one second. Alright guys, so next up we have Ninjas. Ninja is definitely a garbage deck. Like I've seen people play it regionally. I think last one it was decent. It's just not that good. Like it's tier 2.5. Like you catch people with his pants down, you're doing good. Other than that, it's, it's not that great. We already did Sora, so I just throw this up here somewhere as the 2.5. I don't know why it's down there. Same thing with Emancipator. This should definitely be down here in the garbage section. Ruin it. I think what happened was when I transferred the files over it, it did twice, which is kind of goofy. But anyway, that's YouTube stuff. Runic. Tier 1, easily. Uh, one of the best engines right now. Runic Notoria is really good. Runic Dinos is really good. Anything with Runic is really good. Like, it can slow roll and steal games. And it draws a lot of cards. So, I think Runic is definitely a Tier 1. It's a step above all these decks. It's kind of unfair, low-key. We already did Black Wings. Okay, so Branded, this deck is garbage. No, I'm joking, y'all. Don't click the video off. It's tier one, man. I mean, the deck's, the deck's insane. What What is there to say about Branded? Like, oh, we can give me Puppet Lock you. Like, the deck is really good. Really freaking good, y'all. So, I ain't gonna trip on that. Branded one real quick. What else I have down here? So, we did all these other decks already. We did Sprite. 
we did have Nez. I think the only one I didn't do from down here was... We, yeah, we did all of them. Did we do Dragon Link? We did not do Dragon Link. So Dragon Link, y'all, put it up here. It's coming back in the favor. I want to say it's a tier 1.5 deck. Um, seeing some tops with it. A lot of my local players are picking it up. It has plays. Like, it, the deck can literally just spam Omni Negates, and it's going to win. But that's pretty much about it. Like, Dragon Link is a really solid deck, and yeah. I'm seeing a lot of players do well with it. I think it's one of those that people just forgot about, and it can make big boards. It has a really amazing grind game. It did take a hit when it lost that synchro that can mill top five to fuel the graver. However, it's it's really good. You know what? But no, real talk. It just started topping. I'm gonna put it down to tier two. It just, it's almost like it's almost tier one point five, right? But I'm not seeing it do as well. Well, is you know what? I'll be kind of considered bad. I, I already know. People are like, man, how you going to put Sword Soul above Dragon Link? Like, what am I scared of? As a hero player, what, am I scared of Sword Soul more or Dragon Link more? I don't know. They're both equally good. You know what? Tier 1.5. Like, it's a solidly good deck. Like, I can't really say it's on the same level as Heroes. It's a little bit better based on the variety and variance of what it can do. So, it's not Tier 2. I think Tier 1.5 is really good, mainly because of the grind game. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. This disregard all these double photos. I guess I just must have messed up with transfer the fouls. But this is my tier list for the format. So essentially, the best decks are literally Soroso, Sprite, Runin, and Branded. Everything else falls in between. I think honestly, this is fair. There's no tier zero decks right now. And as you guys can see, this is a plethora of decks. What is this? Four. This is a lot of decks. And there's more decks I didn't include on this um video. So if there was something I missed out on that you guys think should have been on this video, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get cursed out by some of you guys saying, you forgot my deck, your tier 3 decks. But nevertheless, man, if you guys made it to the end of the video, I would invite for you guys to subscribe. Also, if you guys like this hero shirt, check out my description of um, my Teespring. Pick it up, man. It's a really good shirt for the summertime, all right? It's your boy, Rogue Hero, bring you guys another Yu-Gi-Oh! tier list. Once again, if this one does well, like, let's say if I get 100 likes on this video and a good amount of comments saying you guys want more, i definitely do another one next month, breaking down next month's metagame, give you guys my opinion. But I think this is a pretty solid opinion, but let me know what you guys think, man. Peace and stay innovative. Deuces. Have a great rest of your day.